So welcome everyone to our special edition today of the Looney Tooney Times with uh, your host Maple Sugar and Crepe Suzette. Today we pause to respect our fallen heroes on Remembrance Day. Every year we take time, most of us, unless we're Prime Minister, to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, giving their lives for our freedom. Did you know that more than 600,000 Canadian soldiers laid down their lives for us in World War I? Their contribution, particularly at the Battle of Vimy Ridge, helped Canada gain the respect of other nations. Until then, we were regarded as a colony of Britain, and Canada was now regarded as a country. So as a colony, we had no choice but to serve in World War I. Their bravery gave us our freedom. We would now be able to choose whether or not Canada would participate in future conflicts. When World War II came along, the world stood still as Hitler instilled fear in all. Canada rose to the occasion, entering the war as soon as it began in 1939. All knew that there was no other option if we intended to remain free and always be remembered. Man's inhumanity to man, the true face of evil. Justin Trudeau has made more drastic cuts to our military. Every day, we see more and more of our personal, individual freedoms dwindle. So, are we honoring the sacrifice that they made? Or are we throwing it away? Trudeau has, for the first time in history, limited the number of wreaths at Cenotaphs. And he's not even in the country for Remembrance Day. These fallen heroes, they've given us a torch to carry. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row. That mark our place, and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved. And now we lie in Flanders' fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. Canada, we did not stand on guard for thee. Talk of trouble is sent through the country, and we need an army to fight for the right. Young men enlist and are sent to the battle to fight the offender and help our allies. And the young men cry, oh Canada, we'll gladly go and fight for thee. And the young men cry, oh Canada, we'll fight to keep you free. The battle's raging, gunfire is blazing. A tired young soldier is clinging to life He's ordered on and obeys by advancing No hope of returning from the enemy fire And the soldier cries, oh Canada If it must be so, I'll die for thee Soldier cries, O oh Canada, I'll die to keep you free. And we own this, O oh Canada, the land where we all used to be. And we all long for Canada, the true north. Strong and free. The soldier 
to keep you free. Far away we have seen a great danger, and yet there's a danger much greater within. The noise we make as we constantly bicker would hush not a whisper if we listen to hear. All the thousands cry, O oh Canada, is that why we have died for thee? And the soldiers cry, O oh Canada, we died to keep you free. And the soldier cries, O oh Canada, be true. And strong for me. So if this helps you to understand the importance of this day, we're grateful. And here are a few things we suggest to make the day meaningful and honoring to our fallen heroes. Of course, attend the ceremony. If you can't, watch it on television with your kids. And so if you feel so inspired, consider making a donation to the Veterans Transition Network. This group helps veterans to reintegrate upon return from tour. Watch a movie to help your kids understand what was happening back then. Movies like The Diary of Anne Frank. Swing Kids. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Life is Beautiful. So everyone, that's our show for today. Please like and share. Patriotically Yours. Crepe Suzette. And Maple Sugar. We, we will remember, remember them. them.